everybody, it's Jane from Norman S. Wright. I want to do some videos on some common VAV box topics, starting this week with what's the difference between pressure dependent and pressure independent boxes. So let's get started. Pressure dependence and pressure independence has to do with how the airflow through a VAV box reacts to changes in pressures in the system. As the name implies, in a pressure dependent box, the amount of airflow you get is dependent on the pressure in the system. So what does this mean exactly? Let's talk about the plumbing in your house for a minute. So we'll draw a house here, and let's imagine what happens if someone's in the shower and you turn the washing machine on. In many houses, the water pressure of the shower drops because the washer is using water too. And if you turn on more sources like the sprinklers or the dishwasher, the pressure available to each source gets lower and lower. The plumbing in your house is pressure dependent. As the water pressure goes down, the flow to the different devices goes down as well. Now let's move this over and look at pressure dependent VAV boxes. Pressure dependent VAV boxes in an HVAC system work in a similar manner. Let's say we have a conference room and a couple areas with pressure dependent VAV boxes. If the conference room goes from empty to full, the thermostat will tell it it needs more air and it'll call for the box to open the damper for the conference room. The offices on that same system will get less air because opening the damper on the conference room box changed the pressure in the system. If you were to graph airflow versus pressure in a pressure dependent VAV box, it would look something like this. So for any given damper position, as the pressure goes up, the CFM goes up, and as the pressure goes down, the CFM goes down. So as the system pressure decreases, like in the example with these offices, when the conference room damper opens, then the airflow goes down. And if you had damper position two or three, the same thing would happen. Now let's move this over and look at pressure independence. In a pressure independent VAV box, the airflow volume is independent of changes in pressure. How does this work? Well, pressure independent VAV boxes have flow sensors that measure the pressure in the box and send this information to a controller. If the three VAV boxes in that last example were pressure independent, then when the conference room box opened, and the pressure in that duct run went down, the controllers on the other VAV boxes would determine whether it needs to open or close the dampers to maintain the airflow through those boxes. So if you were to graph airflow versus pressure in a pressure independent VAV box, it would look something like this, where the CFM stays the same as the pressure changes. Okay, let's move this over one more time. So basically the key difference between a pressure dependent and pressure independent VAV box is the flow sensor and the controller. I want to touch on one final thing about pressure dependence. I discussed what happens when the VAV box opened in the conference room and the airflow went down in the other offices, but let's look at what happens on the opposite situation. What happens if all the boxes start closing off? Now there could be too much pressure in the system. This can cause a lot of noise in the system. It can even blow ductwork off of diffusers if they're not connected well. In this case, you need to have some sort of pressure relief. In many pressure dependent systems, you'll find a pressure sensor in the ductwork that is measuring the duct pressure and either controlling a bypass damper, which will relieve duct pressure, or controlling fan speed, which will slow the fan down to reduce the pressure in the system. Most systems you see today are going to be pressure independent, but you may run into older systems or possibly VAV diffuser systems that are pressure dependent. Let's bring everything back on screen. That's the difference between pressure dependent and pressure independent. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.